today 22nd of may back in my own winter wheat um two or three days away from putting on the flag leaf spray flag leaf there is about three quarters way out so by the end of the week we'll be spraying here at the moment things look very good we have one two three four almost spotless leaves leaf four has two or three percent septoria but when you look down lower you can see there's a good 50 60 percent there on leaf five which just proves septoria is a ticking time bomb waiting to go wrong in ireland as regards um resistance and tolerance of the disease to our fungicides rather than talk too much today about the fungicide program again because we've covered it in the last video a little bit about regulation I don't mind admitting at this stage that because of the way the weather has happened since I've applied my growth regulator program, I've probably over-regulated early in the season. And we now have an extremely short but extremely stiff base to the, to the wheat canopy. Because of that, looking at this today, it's unlikely I'll apply any turple to this crop. There are other crops that may need of the order of 1.25 litres, but this is short, it's clean, so we won't be applying any late turple. Fungicide program wise, happy so far. Of more, um, I won't say relevance today, but probably of more importance to talk about is the whole concept of where yield comes from in the wheat. In essence, what I'm holding in, in my hand is what gives us the yield. It's the plant. It's not necessarily anything else we do. This plant produces the yield. Nutrition is critical. There's a reason that I'm heading for 16 stone again. I like food. Plants get plenty of it. They produce yield. Um, we spoke the last day when I was standing in Kevin's crop about putting on sulfur mag ally at the flag leaf timing. Historically a lot of it would have gone on late. But what you're doing is you're, you're, you're fine tuning or turbocharging the engine that's in the crop. Chlorophyll is what gives you photosynthesis. Photosynthesis gives you the carbohydrate production and that's where yield comes from. So by topping up now you're injecting more magnesium into the plant. We're also giving it a bit of sulfur through the sulfur mag. We're fine-tuning, turbocharging that engine to just get the maximum yield possible. A lot of people were taken aback by what I would have said in the last video, but it is fact that in the very latter stages of grain fill, those very last few days in wheat, you can get 0.2 of a ton per hectare per day for every extra day that the crop stays green. That's why when straws come out and they kept the crop greener, we saw such a jump in yield. This crop, we all know about the, the primary nutrients, the NPK. You hear me talk about the magnesium and the sulfur. My ground here, if I test any field on the farm, it'll come in at about 7.4, 7.5 pH. Because of that, it locks up trace elements. Because of that, I do a blanket application of our cereal alloy. Yes, I know we sell it, but the science behind it is my pH causes a lock up. So by injecting those small amounts of manganese, copper, zinc, I'm keeping the plant well fed, I maximise tiller production, I maximise grain site number and I'll maximise grain fill as well. Blanket treatment is the way the market has kind of gone because people don't like a multitude of products but I know that in this field, right down there behind me there's a two acre patch that in the wrong conditions that two acres will go yellow for want of manganese whereas the rest of the field was fine with the dose I applied in a bad year that crop has to get topped up as well. Everything is about nutrition. In one of the previous videos, you would have seen the state of the wheels of the tractor. Here is the reason why I sank to the you-know-what in this field with the sprayer. Talking about stress on plants, this is another factor. All we see today as a consequence of a spring is this deep tramline. But I can tell you from knowledge of my field over the years, there's about a two-acre patch here that when the spring rises, when the water rises, the ground is cold, it induces phosphorus deficiency, the wheat's not showing any sign of it now, but had I had spring barley in this crop at the start of the year, it would have been hardly able to tiller, purely because of induced phosphorus deficiency because the ground was cold. These are reasons why products like uplift and different things are important to reduce stress on crops and maximise yield. And one of the other reasons we promote chlor, we promote Trioris so much. Trioris has been shown, and most of the trade has forgotten this. We would have publicised it strongly when we launched it. Trioris can produce up to 32-33% more chlorophyll in a plant than other SDHIs that were there at the time of launching Chiorus. That's free growth promotion. So it's not just a fungicide, it promotes growth. So everything you do to fine tune this engine that you've spent so much money investing in and growing, that's what gives you the yield. So you have to protect it.